Hi, Catherine. Hi, Chef Elliot. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Very good, thank you. Thank you for speaking with me. I'd just like to introduce you to my um, audience. I'm Catherine Pappas of Living the Gourmet, and this afternoon I have the pleasure of speaking with Chef Graham Elliott, the current co-host of Fox Network's hit cooking competitions, Master Chef and Master Chef Junior. Good afternoon, Chef Elliott. Hi. Well, I would love if you would give us a little bit about your culinary background and your upcoming projects. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I've been cooking for over half my life. My dad was in the Navy, so I got to travel all over the world and get inspired from that. I also uh, own my own restaurant, Graham Elliott Bistro, in the West Loop of Chicago. I get to oversee the culinary world of Lollapalooza and have uh, MasterChef, MasterChef Junior, and Craziest Restaurants in America, which is a new show starting tonight on the Food Network. Very nice. I'll be sure to tune in. Yeah. And I hear that you're here to give us some backyard grilling and entertainment tips so that we could be the star <laughs> of the show here. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, you know, some fun things that we're doing is reinventing what, you know, grilling in the backyard is all about. So you have family, friends, everyone hanging out. But, you know, what I like to do is take food that you might have seen before, but putting a twist on them. So I've got my version of a grilled chicken, but I'm serving it with like a watermelon and olive salsa. I've got my Graham burger, but it's on a pretzel bun with watercress and roasted onion and like a brie fondue, um, crispy grit cakes, all kinds of things that again are just kind of a new little style. And what that's based on is the same mentality that Mike's Hard Lemonade is doing, where they've got new flavors from all over the country, uh, whether it's peach or black cherry or, you know, hard cider those different drinks pair so well with the food and it's the same mentality, so it goes really well together. So you're reinventing the classics, Chef Elliot. Exactly. Oh, that sounds terrific because there's nothing like a good backyard barbecue and everybody from the little ones to your grandparents yep. all enjoy and it's fun to reinvent this food and see people enjoy it. And um, would you like to tell us any, any more about some of these uh, reinventions that you have? Yeah, I mean, I can walk you through one right here. Is, you know, the, uh, the, the Graham Burger, we've got our aioli, but what I do is whole cloves of roasted garlic. You know, I like to, to kind of get that flavor, almost like a little surprise, instead of just blending it. That way you get, you know, these, these sweet little pieces, and you're like, what is that? And you realize it's garlic, and it's got this great flavor. So I put a good generous amount on there so you get that richness. Then I get my burger patty, followed up with uh, some roasted onion. I like to marinate them and, you know, vinegar, a little olive oil, get some char. Then I use brie, which adds a great amount of richness to keep the burger moist, but also that kind of funky Frenchy cheese, you know, aroma and flavor. Mm -hmm. Then some watercress that's going to give it, again, some, some great pepper uh, accents, and then top it with the bun. And, uh, you know, that's kind of... I all she I wrote. love the roasted onions when you wrap them and you grill them on the barbecue. They're so sweet. The, yes. The, the Vidalia onion, and then you open it up, and you would never think that you get such flavor from an onion. And I remember when my kids were little, my son loved them. Yeah, the exactly. You, you know, because there's so much sugar in a lot of these ingredients, whether it's garlic or. Uh, onions and then you cook them slowly and they get that gorgeous caramelization and that's what makes them sweet and still got some of that earthiness uh, that you love and it pairs so well with everything. Well roasted garlic is one of my favorites. Yes. You just put them in the, in the cast iron pan, mm -hmm. let them get a little charred and pop them right out yep. and it's almost like butter. It's, it's amazing and they smear so perfectly and they're so complex. I, I agree. I think that's, there's some reason that almost every culture around the world uses garlic in some form. Oh, for sure. And would you like to tell us about your new show so that uh, uh, hopefully um, we, we get a lot of yeah. people tuning in? Yeah, it's on Food Network tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern, and it's called Craziest Restaurants in America, where we go around the country, find places that are maybe super scary or maybe they're really spicy foods or, you know, showcase what's going on out there. And I think that it's, uh, it's really entertaining. I also... Oh, I uh, I'm excited. I have my first ever cookbook coming out this fall called Cooking Like a Master Chef. So um, oh, cool. people can go to GrahamElliott.com and kind of pre-order that and get a look, um, which, again, I, I'm very, very proud of. Oh, I, I will be sure to, to give that a, a, um, a look. And I 
if you're ever around on Long Island, I would love to, you know, you're more than welcome. I'd love to cook for you. Oh, wow, that sounds so great. Thank because you. Because I know as a chef, you get, you're always cooking, and sometimes it's nice to have someone cook for you. Oh, <laughs> it's super nice. That's so sweet of you. I'd love to. Oh, for sure, for sure, um, Chef Elliot. And um, I don't know if you'd like to... But I was reading about you, and I understand that you cooked for President Obama for his 49th birthday. That's I, quite a privilege. It was a great privilege because he's such a foodie, so it's cool to cook for someone that enjoys what you do as well, as opposed to just, you know, I want this well done and a side of ketchup, and that's all, which oh, I sadly know. some politicians do order. I know. It, it, there's the saying, people that eat to live and people that live to eat. Yes, very much so. And it's very enjoyable. So that was quite an honor for you. Yes, very much. And I want to thank you for giving the time to, to Living the Gourmet for calling. And I can't tell you what a pleasure it is to speak with you on the phone and to have this privilege. And oh, I will thanks. be sure to look f and tonight and to watch your show. Oh, thank you. And, and much love out to you and, and all your, uh, your readers and viewers as well. Thank you, Chef Elliot. It was a pleasure speaking with you, and I will be sure to tune in. And once again, when your book comes out, I'd love to give it a look. Awesome. Thanks, Catherine. Thank you, Chef All Elliot. Right. Bye. Have a wonderful day. Okay.